Right then, welcome back. We killed a guy, and <laughs> maybe if we spared them, then they would have like, gone, "Nah, what are you doing?" But could have been one extra warrior. I don't know. Your Grace, <laughs> you're familiar with my brother's chambers, back aren't you? Back in the bullshit. Certainly you've been here before. You looked rather confused when you came in, as if you didn't know where you were. I don't know what you mean, Your Grace. I'm told you know these chambers as well as anyone. You're quite the curiosity, aren't you? <laughs> you profess to be loyal to the Crown, yet you're not very loyal to Lady Marjorie. Have I displeased you, Your Grace? I've heard things. I understand you've been quite busy. Tell me, do you consider yourself an honest, loyal handmaiden? One uh. can never tell with you northern girls. Assuming an honest person exists in King's Landing. <laughs> I brought you here for a reason. Uh. Not to listen to the sound of my own voice. I've done my best to keep an open mind about people like you. Yet... Lucan tells me you invited yourself to Tommen's coronation party. How exactly did that happen? It can't have been easy. Or at least it shouldn't have been. I do what's necessary, Your Grace. Including using another girl to talk your way in, I'm told. You're not above using people to get what you want. Good. Why would you be so reckless as to risk your neck for what? It all seems rather careless, considering the consequences. My family is still very much at risk, Your Grace. It was crucial I attend. Your family. Sometimes that's a convenient lie we tell ourselves. When I suspect your issue with Lord Andros played a part in it. You've been such a busy little handmaiden. <laughs> I assume Lady Marjorie knew nothing of this. No, Your Grace. This wasn't the first time you've hidden the truth from her. You've no qualms about lying to her, have you? Tell me the truth. Your secret is safe with me. Speak when spoken to, girl! <laughs> Shit. Perhaps I was wrong to call you. I want answers, not your blank stare. <laughs> Perhaps I mistook your northern stubbornness for ignorance, but now I see there's more to you. You're a cunning girl, and perhaps you can help me. Your Grace? You're quite friendly with my brother Tyrion. I need you to speak with him before the trial begins. I want to know who he intends to call as a witness on his behalf. Consider it a favor to the crown, for which we will all be grateful. Oh. Uh, I, I guess I could, Your Grace. It won't be easy. Tyrion is devious. You'll have to hide your intentions, otherwise he'll tell you nothing. You may prove to be a useful little bird to me, assuming you do as you're told. <laughs> In return, I'll take care of your problem with Lord Andros. Thank you, Your Grace. I never liked the man anyway. And I doubt anyone will miss him. Oh well. Tyrion's not gonna be of any help to us anymore, so Oh we fucked up I mean we need some friends. <laughs> Lannisters are pretty well they're like think we hired this boat for nothing. No, I don't know. That was a rousing speech you gave, little brother. But who knows how much they heard. After you sold me out to Daenerys, given a lot of thought to staying here. Fuck off. Leaving you to your Westeros and your foresters. You have? <sighs> I was angry. But you're my family. Yay. No matter what. I'd follow you anywhere, little brother. Just try not to get us killed. Think we'd let you live without us, Westerosi? 
They say your homeland is fat and prosperous. An orchard ripe for plucking. Oh, four of them. We'll take what we want and kill anyone who stands in our way. Take anything not nailed down. Just not from my house. <laughs> <laughs> that depends on how nice your house is. I'll show them their beds. Seriously, was like... Vasco wasn't exaggerating. Malcolm, you're here! Oh, and you found your soldiers. Ironrath will be glad of your return. You came through for them. Just as I knew you would. What about you, Uncle? Will you stay with the Queen? If I can, I'd like to help her reclaim the Iron Throne. Imagine what an ally she'd be to House Forrester if she succeeds. She's Living here poor. has made a better man of you, nephew. Thank you, Uncle. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you. You've guided me well. You are your father's son, Asher. For all your differences, he would be proud. I'll send a raven ahead to Ironrath to let Roderick know you sail for Westeros with uh, cell swords. <gasps> My thoughts will be with you in the fight to Carl. Oh, we got, we got a bunch of murderers. We Asher, got Daenerys also. Iron from ice. Iron from ice. Casting off! Oh, yes. Oh, shit. Take okay. this. You know what? It'll help loosen his tongue. But be careful. He's a tricky little bastard. <laughs> if he figures out who sent you, he'll tell you nothing. I'll be listening to every word you say. Yeah, I guess. If he's gonna be listening. Oh, I ask for brawn, they send me a handmaiden. Brawn. Hey, that's like... Well, you're here. You might as well come in. Let me guess. Your family is in grave danger. And you've come seeking my help? Not that I'd be of much use to you. As you can see, I'm at a bit of a disadvantage. I really must speak with you, Lord Tyrion. Clearly. You're here, aren't you? At least you brought wine. And you didn't even have to hide it. Well, that was pretty obvious, like. Hmm. He knows we don't drink Doesn't either. Doesn't smell poisoned. Poisoned? Cersei would love nothing more than to save herself <laughs> the trouble of a trial. You don't expect me to drink alone, do you? They never let anyone in to see me. And I've grown tired of talking to myself. I suppose I'll have just a little. Ah, true girl of the North. Hmm. Some things are worth dying for. <laughs> well, so, why are you here? <laughs> it's rather unusual for a handmaiden to visit the Black Cells. The lady Marjorie sent me. Oh, Did she? Why'd I say that? With wine from Cersei's cellar. How generous of her. Oh, fuck. I have to admit, I've always admired your honesty, but I suspect there's more to you than one might imagine. <laughs> this is all a ruse, isn't it? Sorry? You're coming here. We both know you have an ulterior motive. <laughs> You've come to set me free. Good. It's the perfect plan. No one would suspect it of you. No? I thought perhaps. <laughs> Great. So, tell me. Cersei sent you. Didn't she? Oh, I like the god. I know I'm not wrong. The truth, Mira. Are you toying with me? I might ask you the same question. <laughs> now tell me the truth. Admit it. Cersei sent you. I don't know what you're talking about. She did no such thing. The gods have never let anyone in with wine. 
That yeah. was your first mistake. Not that I don't appreciate the gesture. I wish you'd had the courage to tell me the truth. Not that I'm above drinking her wine. I told you to be careful. You'll twist your words. Stupid girl. You're acting a fool. Back off, Lucan. Watch your tongue, girl. We're <gasps> not done talking, you imbecile. Give us a moment. Oh, shit. Imp. I can't. I can't. Uh. What did my sister expect you would learn? Who will testify on your behalf? She's using you. And will continue to do so. Until you no longer prove useful. It's not as if I could refuse her. Cersei is not someone to be trifled with. And what would Lady Marjorie make of your new friendship with my sister? <laughs> I doubt she'd be pleased. Assuming she doesn't dismiss you immediately. I'll just fucking fuck you. Without her protection, you're in a very precarious position. <clears throat> what should I tell Cersei? You're a clever girl. I'm sure you'll think of something. Although I would suggest you choose your words carefully. Cersei would be far less amused if she catches you in a lie. Enough of this nonsense! You're wasting my time! Out! Now! Go I ahead. wish you well, Lady Mira. Be careful who you trust. <laughs> what can I do? There's, there's like literally nothing I can do. I'm just fucked, whatever I do. Uh, fuck. <sighs> what? What's your leave? Sorry, didn't mean to wake you. You didn't sleep, did you? Neither did you. We haven't slept much at all these last few weeks. Hey. I, I hope you don't have any regrets. About this. About us. I've never felt more certain about anything. I'm glad. I wasn't sure if you... With all that's happened. I guess it wouldn't be Game of Thrones without it, would it? What will we do now? Now that we're... Uh, what we are? We'll be married. And no one will be able to keep us apart. Not Griff. Not his father. Not Ramsay Snow. I was hoping you'd say that. Roderick? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh! I'm sorry! I thought you were alone. Good morning, Talia. Hello, Elena. Oh, I I didn't realize you two were... I mean, I didn't realize she was... It's all right, Talia. Come in. I really am sorry. <laughs> what the fuck? It's just, this is urgent, Roderick. And... It's, it's all right. I can go. You two need to speak. What? I'll see you soon, I hope. Well, she's just gonna walk out like that. What? Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, was that a dress or? I don't know. All right then, I'm listening. Last night I couldn't. I was having nightmares, so I. Go on, Talia. I went back there. To the grove. And someone was there. What do you mean? Look. Ooh. This is a report. How many fighting men we have? Where Griff and the White Hill garrison are being held? It even talks about Elena. I know. It's everything. I couldn't believe it. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... You said you saw someone. Who? Someone we trusted. It could be so Talia, well. I need to know who it was. He's like family, Roderick. But it doesn't matter. He's a traitor. He endangered our house. Who? You have to deal with him like you would any other man. I'm sure he had his reasons. But no reason is good enough. It's your duty to tell me. 
and mine to pass oh, judgment. See, um, Just promise me you'll kill him, Roderick. Duncan. Anyone who would betray us like this deserves to die. I'm asking you, as your sister, Man. make him pay. Uh, uh. I'm lord of this house, Talia. It's my job to deliver justice, not vengeance. I can't promise to kill a man before I've heard him out. You know what he's done. That should be enough. Talia, please. Come with me. He's in the Great Hall. Oh, is, is, it, is he the Duncan of Sir Royland? Or something? He said he's like... It's probably Duncan in here because he's like... Or is it the maester? Why would it be the maester? Go get the guards. You scared the bloody what? daylights out of What's that? You tell me. You don't scare me, Roderick. I've known you since you were a boy. Start talking. Yes. I have been working with the White Hills. But only because you stopped listening to reason. Did I now? You pushed me to this, Roderick. You brought it upon yourself. I trusted you, Roderick. With my life. Tch, you'll trust anyone who makes the right noises. You know why? Because you're weak. You're oh, weak. Shit. Just like Ethan was. Making Duncan his sentinel. Ethan was a boy. Ethan was a fool. And you've been making fool choices too since the day you crawled off that corpse cart. Bungling your betrothal to Elena. Doesn't matter how either of you feel. Lord Glenmore will never let you marry her now. Letting Griff force you to the ground. Without a shred of dignity. Fuck. Taking Duncan to High Point. When what you needed was an experienced soldier. Yeah, but you were lying. Hell, you so... even managed to get Arthur killed. Enough, Froyland. You've had every opportunity to save this family. But you've squandered them all. Would it be Duncan Your if father would be ashamed. Hate me for it, but it's the bloody truth. So you turn your cloak. That's your answer. I'm not gonna stand by and watch you destroy this family. You didn't have to join You're another driving one, House Forrester the way of the Starks. The only thing that matters is that you swore an oath to all. I swore to your father. I'd swear to Asher if he were here. But you're a cripple who can barely hold a sword. Asher knows how to act. All you do is limp between defeats. Asher would cut your traitor heart out. Oh, I don't doubt it. He has more balls than you ever will. Shit. Roderick, it's Griff. He's gone. Somebody set him free. Was this your doing? They were going to ambush you at the trade. I just saved your life. But Ryan... Ryan... Could have just told How could you? This was his doing! <sighs> just sentence me and be done with it. Kill me. And Asher dies too. <gasps> oh, Please, fuck. Roderick! What do you mean? I know Lud's plans. Spare my life, and I'll tell you everything. Perhaps we should hear him out. He's only saying that to save himself. You must decide, my lord. You must be loving this, Duncan. Believe me, I'm not. I wonder if it would be Duncan if... Ah, oh, shit. I, I do feel like he's just saying, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, though, he's wearing like solid metal armor over there. <laughs> he 
You did it. It was the right thing. What Roiland said. We have to warn Asher. We can't, not if he's at sea. The Lord. What do we do? I wouldn't just fucking... Oh, fuck. We have to... Prepare the horses. We're gonna defend my brother. Oh shit, maybe he just said that. Oh fuck, he just checked his. I didn't realize that. Fight for the forest and fight for the good! Hey ho, no for ho! What fuck was the riches in your He has all the men though, don't he? So we need him. You smell that? We're almost there. Let's I can add it on for it's too fuck 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 fuck. Okay, uh see you next time.